ladies and gentlemen, let's take a trip to the X-Files. And when I say the X-Files, I mean inside of Stacy Dash's head. Oh, it's, it's really shameful when a woman as attractive as her is such a freaking earhead. If you guys haven't heard already, this actor named Joseph Fiennes, I hope I'm not pronouncing his name incorrectly because Fiennes rhymes with penis, but it's spelled F-I-E-N-N-E-S. He's a white fellow, a Caucasian. And Joseph will be playing, of all people, Michael Jackson in a movie. And guess who supports this tomfoolery? Good old Stacy Dash. Stacy ass. What the hell is wrong with this? Oh, you know, it's so funny because Michael Jackson had an interview with Oprah before he died. Obviously, before he died, what the hell am I talking about? It's not like she channeled him. Anyways, Michael Jackson had an interview with Oprah where he flat out said he does not want a white person to play him in a movie. Now he's not here and he's been deceased for what was it about six or seven years this is it this summer or this fall I think he died in July of 2009 I'm pretty sure that's when he passed away so that would be seven years this year and anyways this Caucasian man Joseph Fiennes I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly is going to portray him so I'm going to read to you what people.com wrote people.com writes and I quote one week after Joseph Fiennes was unexpectedly cast as Michael Jackson, Stacey Dash is weighing in on the casting choice. Quote, I say bravo. Dash wrote on her Patheos blog, quote, I'm sick and tired of being told, sorry, Stacey, this is a Caucasian only role. Counterintuitively, this decision by Hollywood, which looks like a diss to blacks, is actually what we've been saying all along. Roles should not be based on color, end quote. Before I even go on to the rest of the people's story, I just want to say this. Stacy. you're so much hotter with your mouth closed. You see, Michael Jackson is a real person. And if there ever was a time where they were going to cast Marilyn Monroe, you bet your sweet ass, Stacy. they would never cast you to play Marilyn Monroe. This is not a fictional character here. This is a real person who released a lot of albums, was the biggest musician on the planet. Nobody ever did it quite like he did it. He sold over 30 million copies on one single album, Thriller, and he truly was the king of pop. Whether whoever likes it or not. And pop equals popular music. So he was basically the king of all music if you want to be technical about it. Nobody has accolades like Michael. Nobody sold as many copies as him. Anyways, let me go back to what People.com wrote. They said, and I quote, The always controversial actress, they should have said the always stupid actress, the always controversial actress goes on to compare Phoenix casting to the Broadway play Hamilton, which casts actors of color to portray historical figures like Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. Quote, I don't care about the race of actors portraying historical figures, and I can't wait to see Joseph's portrayal of Jackson, she, <laughs> she added. Quote, it'll be amazing as long as he plays himself truthfully and authentically. Pause the story right there. This whole thing about these alleged historical figures being portrayed by people of color, what the fuck is a person of color? If I was three quarters Caucasian and one quarter Chinese, for example, would I be considered a person of color? I'm going to need some precise clarification on what the hell a person of color is. I mean, are we still going by the racist caste system here? The casta system? Is this India? Is this Mexico? I mean, should I get a paper bag and put it up to my hand and see whether or not I'm light enough to even talk into this microphone right now? This is some old bullshit. Anyways... People.com goes on to say, <laughs> oh, by the way, also, those are historical figures. We're talking about somebody who was here not even 10 years ago on this planet, just for the record. And I'm trying to think of who's somebody who's white 
that just, okay, Robin Williams. If Eddie Murphy wanted to play Robin Williams in a movie, you bet your sweet tit, Stacy, it would not happen. Hollywood would not let millions of dollars go behind that. Anyways, <laughs> back to the story. And notice she didn't say that these historical <laughs> figures are <laughs> portrayed by black, so-called black people. She said people of color, whatever that means. Dash's primary point was that Phoenix role as the king of pop quote throws that white only card out the window which she believes will work in the favor of actors including those of color as this particular situation lends itself to colorblind casting choices quote roles should not be dictated by race the 49 year old continued there's no reason why the lead role in Homeland Veep or Penny Dreadful have to be white my favorite shows, by the way. Pause the story right there. I bet you your favorite freaking shows are all a bunch of white folks. I freaking bet you. And before that acting gig at Fox where you're playing this uber earhead, who were the people giving you roles, Stacy? It was a bunch of black folks you were working with, right, Stacy? On single ladies and on the game and stuff like that. It's not the 90s anymore, Stacy. They're done with you. Black people will hire you because in black Hollywood there is no age limit and white Hollywood you're ancient to them we're not quite as judgmental you should know who your friends are Stacy I guess you're not smart enough to realize that back to the story quote there's no reason why the lead roles in Homeland Veep or Penny Dreadful have to be white my favorite shows by the way I want to see more of this diversity and thinking outside of the box with the equality that this designation entails. This is the right track. End quote. <sighs> Pause the story one more time. So I'm a writer. And I started writing some movie scripts. You know, and I didn't finish anything. But here's the deal though. And I'm always coming up with new ideas. I have so many. I just need to figure out which one I'm going to do. And actually finish, complete, you know, do something with and whatnot. But I'm thinking from a writer's standpoint. When I come up with these different ideas for a movie. I do sometimes have race right there already picked out for what I want the character to be for different reasons. Just like I have gender already in my mind. It's like I have a vision of what it is that I exactly who I want that person to be. And sometimes when I'm coming up with these different ideas, I actually have a particular person set in mind that I want to play the role in something that I'm writing so I guess I should just throw that out of the window see here's the deal before I even finish up this these last three per short paragraphs of the story I just want to say this if white folks don't want us in their movies that's just fine with me we can go make our own I really don't care I'm perfectly fine with us essentially nearly segregating cinema because it's already basically segregated anyway so why not just consciously admit that that's what we're doing I mean I personally like the idea of black white Asian Hispanic you know like if any of my movies ever come out one of the things I think people will notice that a lot of stuff that I write is very diverse you see all different types of people there just like the world you know you see all different types of people you know, like my movies, some of them would be like a melting pot on the screen. Kind of like if you were living in New York or somewhere like that, where you just see all different types of people all day long, where it's just normal. However, I don't want somebody telling me that I would have to make Brad Pitt the lead in a movie that I wrote, as opposed to Denzel Washington, if that's who I had in mind. So what Stacy is saying is basically screw the writers, which is saying screw me, and saying we can just cast whoever in any role. And it's very convenient for her to say that because it sounds like she's trying to get her foot back into Hollywood, but she's going about it the wrong way. I'm going to read to you these last three paragraphs where I wrap this up. Although Dash thinks the choice was a step in the right direction, Phoenix faced some backlash once the decision was made public. However, the actor defended his new role, saying while he was shocked to get the part, 
he actually looked more like Jackson than other actors. Quote, I'm a white, middle-class guy from London. I'm as shocked as you are, he told Entertainment Tonight. Jackson definitely had an issue, a pigmentation issue, and that's something I do believe. He was probably closer to my color than his original color. Phoenix will star in the half-hour comedy special. Oh, it's a comedy. Well, fuck it then. It's just some silly shit anyway. Phoenix will star in the half-hour comedy special, which recounts an alleged post-9-11 road trip taken by Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor, and Marlon Brando, alongside Stockard Channing as Taylor and Brian Cox as Marlon Brando. Well, there you go. It's just a stupid half-an-hour comedy special. It ain't shit anyway. Go ahead and let the white boy do it. Just make sure. <laughs> Ooh, just make sure after he plays this role of Michael Jackson, we need to push for Wesley Snipes to play Elvis. And we'll be even. I'm all shook up. I would love to see Wesley Snipes play Elvis. He's used to having fucked up hairdos in movies anyway. Have you ever noticed that, that Wesley Snipes always has a fucked up hairdo in any movie he does? Yeah, if Wesley Snipes is going to play Elvis, this is a fair trade. I say have at it. Let's go. But this is all my opinion. What's yours? Do you support Mr. Joseph Phoenix or whatever his name is? Phoenix Rise of Penis. Do you support him playing the role of Michael Jackson? Or do you think these people have really just gone overboard with their foolishness? And what do you think about my idea of having Wesley Snipes play Elvis, Elvis Presley. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.